Hello everyone. Welcome to Young Innovators. In this video, we will explore simple concepts behind electronics, robotics and mechanics and see how we can build and simulate circuits even without having physical components with us. So, before we begin, let me tell you what you will be learning in this course. You will be building two simple robots that is a bug robot and a wired robot. A bug robot is a simple robot that avoids the ob obstacle that appears in its way by using limit switches. Switches help the robot to move aside and avoid the obstacle. A wired robot, as the name says, works on wired communication technique. It uses a remote and transmitter to communicate its movement or a task, just like how we play video games and remote control cars. Before we build a robot, we need to know how it works and where it is used. So, to build one, it is important to understand various electronic components used in it. A simple robot can be built using components like switches, motors, sensors, etc. We will also be learning about different types of communication and its techniques. We have a few software tools on which we can build and simulate the circuits virtually. In this video, we shall look into one such tool known as Tinkercad. So what is Tinkercad, how to use it and how to build and si simulate circuits in it. Tinkercad is a free online simulator that runs on a web browser. It is a simple to use circuit designing and 3D modeling software for beginners and it works on a virtual platform. Founded by Kai Beckman and Mikko Monen in the year 2011, Tinkercad was purchased by Autodesk in the year 2013 and it acts as a good alternative to many other 3D modeling softwares such as SketchUp or Fusion 360. Now let us see why we need Tinkercad. Tinkercad is an easy to use tool for creating digital designs and 3D printing of physical objects like different shapes, vehicles, furniture, etc. It is free of cost and it can be accessed anywhere using any web browser like Chrome. Let us see what Tinkercad screen looks like, what are the tools in it and how to use them. To know this, we will go to the official website of Tinkercad using www.tinkercad.com on our web browser. So let's go to Google and type tinkercad.com in the search bar. It drops me to the official page of the Tinkercad where we have to provide the name and the email ID to access the software. On the right hand side of the official Tinkercad page, click on the option join now. Once clicked, the page will redirect me to the other page to create personal account. Create your personal account, click on sign in with Google option. Once done, it will directly land me on the Tinkercad main sheet. The main sheet displays few options on the left side like 3D design, circuits, code blocks and lessons. Choose the required one and click on it. We shall choose circuit as we will be working on electronic circuits and its simulation. By clicking on the circuit, the page shall redirect us to a new circuit worksheet. This circuit worksheet displays few electronic components and elements which are called as tools to design and circuits. At the top left corner of the worksheet, next to the Tinkercad symbol, a small title bar is seen where we can name or provide a title for the circuit that we want to design. Main toolbar provides the list options from the left to right. On the left, namely, rotate, clockwise or anti-clockwise, delete, notation and visibility. And on to the right, options like code to create program, start simulation, to start the program, export, 
through which we can export the circuit share to share the files with friends or anyone through me below the toolbar we have other tabs called as electronic components in this tab we find various electronic components using which we can build different circuits on the worksheet now let's learn how to design and simulate a circuit in tinkercad so let me choose few components and design simple circuits let's start circuiting choose a bulb and place it horizontally or vertically on the web worksheet as shown now we shall choose a battery and place it on the worksheet now click on either of the components terminal to extend or drag the wire to check the working the circuit click on start simulation and check if the bulb glows yes my circuit is working similarly let's create another circuit by adding a switch You can choose any switch from the components and place it on the worksheet. Here, I am choosing a light switch from the components and placing it on the worksheet. Complete the circuit by connecting first the battery to the bulb, the bulb to the light switch, and then the light switch to the battery. Now, click on the start simulation to check the working of the circuit. And yes, my circuit is working. Slide the knob of the switch to the either side and see if the bulb turns off and turns on. By doing this, we understand the working of a slide switch. This was a simple circuit design. Similarly, we can build more advanced and complicated and complex circuits along with Arduino programming using the Tinkercad tool.